How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be using the dual wield Magnum pistols here in Black Ops Cold War. All right, so before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm going to need you guys to make sure you hit the subscribe button for me. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. You're not going to want to miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos. Next, make sure to also smash the like button. It's the easiest and most effective way to support the channel. Let's jump right into it. So I saw the request for a dual wield Magnum class set up probably about a month ago. And honestly, I've been working up to this. It takes a lot of work to actually get a nuke here with secondaries in this game. It just takes longer than primary weapons as you were to expect, I guess. Um, so this is my class setup that I like to run. We're going to jump into that now. So we got the sound suppressor here. You don't really need any recoil control attachments. It's dual wield and they are single fire. So the recoil is pretty manageable. It kind of likes to shoot up into the sky, but recenter itself right away. Down to the barrel, you're going to need the 7.2 inch task force. You are sacrificing some ammo capacity there. And I guess recoil control, but like I said, they're single fire. It's not really a big deal. But the big stuff being here is damage, effective damage range, and bullet velocity. It brings our damage up to 88, which means it's going to be a two tap kill as long as you are in the parameters of the effective damage range, which you pretty much should be. Uh, it's a 30 meter effective damage range. You're really never going to be taking a 30 meter gunfight with dual wield magnums down to the body, the five milliwatt laser. Pretty simple. You're going to want the most amount of hip fire accuracy there while running a dual wield. And then the 12 round fast mag, the only negative being aim down sight speed, but they are dual wielded. So there's really no negative there at all. And then the stock is where you will find that dual wield attachment. So we're going to jump into a gameplay. You guys can see these things are actually disgusting if you're an accurate player. It's a very good option for close range engagements, a very good secondary. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. We're going to jump into it now. All right, over on some hard point <clears throat> with the dual wield magnums. Diamond looks absolutely flawless on these. Um, we're not going to be going for a nuke just because I've been trying. I want to get this video posted. It got asked like a month ago to post a dual wield magnum video. But, uh, oh my God, I'm alive. But uh, I prefer to just get a good gameplay. Just a high kill. I'd be satisfied with like a you know a hundred plus kill game. What are you doing there, man? My whole team was here, and I, that guy just somehow was there. Okay, so they're on the side there. We can get up here. And now we go. That's a kill. I think I saw one back here that was AFK. I don't think he's AFK actually. Oh, yes. Okay, teammate got them. I can't really do anything here. My teammate's lagging out right there. Yeah, I can't really do anything here. I just need to slide by. Maybe go up. I don't know where the other guy is. Okay, I don't want to hit this yet. The harp. It's still too early for the harp. They're going to spawn behind us. If I choke this nuke, I am a noob. I don't want to hit this yet.
All right, now the best thing we can do is definitely get up in the house here. Now we hit harp. Now the best thing we can do... Oh, they spawn behind me as well. What? Upstairs, we're just running. We'll go this way. Wait. They saw me, definitely. Now put this here, we should be good. Oh, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Well, that's crazy. I've been recording with the Magnums for literally a month, and we finally get it. W teammate. I saw the glint and I knew it was over. Huge break. No, no one wants to push up. Dude, I just jumped so far. I didn't know. That's the same guy that I said was in a weird spot, like my first death. Okay, uh, my team's gonna have to figure this out. Alright, we got harp. I'm gonna hold that for a minute. Dude, I don't know what to do. I'm glad I got the nuke, but I can't break this. Not with a secondary. Just trying to keep him off. I might have to hit the nuke to break the next hill. They might be pushed up too far. No, they're not. Okay, we're gonna hit this. This isn't working. We're behind. We're somehow losing this game. We're going this way. Get me through. I just gotta hit the nuke, dude. I just gotta hit it. We're gonna lose the game. I might have to start using this bullfrog. Of course we break it as I get to call the nuke in. 
we have a strafe run, I believe. Is that what that sound was? Yeah, we got the strafe run. We got this hill, so we're gonna have to hit the strafe run. Just go to the hill. Okay, so the sentry gun is there. Good. Sentry gun is gone. We're full ahead. Damn, dude, that class just fried me. My team is not doing much from a hill perspective. We have a straight front up in the air. They still can't do anything. We gotta try to flip the spawns. Let's just try to get in here. Definitely one upstairs, I hear. What are you doing camping, bro? Ugh, oh, Al. I have an AFK, that's why the spawns aren't flipping. Dang it, man. Mission goals are in sight. Take the win. Oh, help, team, help me, please, I beg you. All right, I just got to use the gun because we're going to lose the game if I don't. We're falling behind. I'm not in the business of... Yeah, I get turned on. This is not good. I can't see anything, dude. Wait. I just need to stay alive right here. If I can stay alive right here, we can win. W. All right, now we just hold the hill. We win. I saw one in the boss right there. Oh, we're gonna flip spawns. No one's on the hill. This is so str this game was so stressful for no reason. GG's man, we had about 130 freaking kills. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.